What's going on, my friends? Cubs fan Han. We are back in the studio, and I had an awesome time with Mobile Gamer and Arnold and my brother, the Senate, out at Disneyland. Oh, my gosh. It is great to be back here, but I definitely miss those guys, and we had an awesome time. We all bought, a lot of us bought Legacy Sabres. I got, I got to show you guys mine. I got... The new Rays reforged saber here. Very, very cool. Uh, be sure to come on to a live stream so you guys can see that uh, lightsaber a little bit more in action. But for today's video, we are going to be talking about the best factions in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. In fact, this is going to be a really ambitious ranking, my friends. We're going to rank every single faction in the entire game. There's 24 Factions. Isn't that crazy? 24 factions in this game. Um, some of which are a lot better than others, and some that are just absolutely garbage. <laughs> and some are like factions within factions. So I'm going to draw a division here as I rank this list. Um, I'm going to be ranking the big factions. Uh, that's going to be kind of my main focus, 1 through 16. There's also 8 factions that I would call a little bit more like sub-factions, where they've got a bigger overarching faction, but they've also got their little team synergy that pretty much just applies to one team or is kind of just a throwaway tag for I don't really know what um, which is the case with one faction in particular so without any further ado let's talk about the small factions within factions first I'm actually just gonna reveal all of those to you guys right now here they are boom one through eight 501st number one Sith Empire Geonosian clone trooper Imperial trooper Rogue One Phoenix and smuggler now the big debate here the only real there are two debates I had Number one was Fiala First versus Sith Empire. I know that they're number one and number two. And it just kind of depends on what your goals are in the game, I think. Sith Empire is probably the better defensive team. Five, uh, 501st can beat anything with, with gas included in there, of course. Um, so I, I think it's kind of a toss-up. I, I kind of wish it was more number one tied because I, I still really feel like both are... Just insanely valuable in this game. And they are, of course, factions within factions. The 501st is going to bleed up into the uh, Galactic Republic. Sith Empire is going to bleed up into the Sith and a couple other things, you know, droid or whatever. Um, Geonosians, to me, clear-cut number three. Clone Troopers as well. Imperial Troopers still have a lot of use on offense, not as much on defense. But if you've got a decked-out Clone Trooper team, you could take out some pretty solid teams in this game. This is something not to scoff at. Rogue One and Phoenix were the other debate for me. Um, I think Phoenix could have a case for number six and be above Rogue One, probably from a defensive perspective in Grand Arena, maybe the better team. Uh, Rogue One, I just feel like having Chirrut and Bays, the synergy you got there, if you if you don't have anything ready, to, I, I just, I, maybe it's the old Galaxy of Heroes player in me, where I, I used to play against Chase, and Chase was like, oh my gosh! Jays! They were so hard to go against. So maybe it might just be some PTSD. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, but that's where I put them. And then smugglers to me, I mean, oh my gosh. Look at this godforsaken faction. Um, there's, there's really good characters in here. But the faction is doing nothing. Like, there's there's no smuggler team. Um, there are scoundrel teams. But nobody's really building a team thinking, you know, we're going to link scoundrels up. Like, the, the most, uh, you know, prominent leader I'd say here is probably Kira. Uh, but even her leader is only going to link scoundrels. It doesn't really get into uh, smugglers. So that's... The smuggler faction, I think, I'm just not really sure what, what the good uh, of that faction is. And so that's the, the bigger reason why I'm ranking that uh, there on this list um, in last. Isn't because the characters are bad. It's just because there's not really a scoundrel. The faction doesn't really do much itself. All right. Let's get into the next part of the list. Starting with Tuscans, we got Jawas. We have got Ewoks. We have got Old Republic. We've got Bounty Hunters and Empire. Now, looking at this, I mean, all right, we just, <laughs> the Tuscans are bringing up the rear here. I mean, there has almost never been a use for Tuscans in this game. I mean, oh, there's only three of them. There's only three of them. We got a whole faction dedicated to these three. We don't have anything for them to do. Tuscan Shaman ha is probably the only Tuscan character that actually had a use at one point in time. Uh, but, you know, kind of just went by the wayside. They used to have a, I think it was a, I want to say it was a heroic tank team that used to have uh, some use. Jawas, um, the reason I'm, I'm ranking them uh, on the list above uh, the Tuscans because they actually do have use. First of all, they do have a full team. And secondly, they can take out Bugs teams if you have your Jawas decked out. 
You probably don't want to deck out your Jawas. Um, I know I sure don't, and so they're not that useful or practical to farm. But if you do, there is a place you can use them in the game. If, if you want to be that guy using Jawas, you know, be my guest, you know, touche. Uh, go ahead and do it. Ewoks, on the other hand, they've got a lot more use. They've got more characters. They're going to help you unlock C-3PO. They can beat First Order teams. Um, I don't know if that's been tested, however, with the two new First Order characters that we recently got, Sith, uh, Sith Trooper and uh, General Hux. Um, we've got Old Republic right here. Old Republic is very solid, and I would probably be ranking Old Republic higher if the full Jedi Revan team was in here, but it is not. However, you do have the Karth team with Jolie Binda, or not Jolie Binda, with uh, Mission and Zalbar, Juhani, and Candrus. If you have that team maxed out, especially with the Relic Candrus, that is an absolutely disgusting I don't know why I bleeped out the word disgusting. <laughs> I just like it. I like this work button. I like that button. <laughs> They're an absolutely disgusting Grand Arena defensive team. Um, however, I would have to admit that I feel like Bounty Hunters are a little more usable. They're also going to help you get um, Chewbacca, which is very valuable. And man, if you've got a Relic boss with super high tenacity, that can just be just mean just so mean to deal with so that's why i'm ranking the bounty hunters above um and then above all of them at number 11 we did have the empire to me the empire i mean just look how broad this faction is there's so many there's several teams you can build out of empire you can have a palpatine team which if you throw basil of fallen into a empire team i know that's not the purpose of this list, but you can you can really juice up that palpatine lead fast you've also got your imperial troopers You've got, uh, you know, a Gar Saxon team, which can actually be a pretty okay uh, C-grade back wall defensive team. I actually got tripped up by a, 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 a decked out Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando. Didn't think they'd be good at all, but they were gear 12. They did have the Zetas, and they just, they just feed off each other so much. And so that is the ranking there uh, for the bottom third of the list. Let's get to the next. All right, here we go. We've got number 10 droids. First order rebels in at number eight resistance at number seven and number six is the scoundrel faction now there was a big debate on where to put the scoundrels on this list in particular i ended up deciding to rank them above resistance rebels first order and droids and the reason why is because in my opinion they have one of the best defensive teams in this entire game and that scoundrel team i'm talking about is with newt you can put nest in there if you do you do sometimes need to borrow a dooku which isn't part of the scoundrel faction but you can also make others work uh, but that combo newt and nest uh Django in there it's just absolutely just so frustrating to go against you could put vandor in there l3 is also very solid and then look at who else is in here this faction is extremely deep you've got mission and zalbar in there you've got boba in there you've got dengar you got a lot of those bounty hunters bosk is in here you've got your full bounty hunter squad in here um you've got candrus ordo captain han if you have him maxed out he can be used in so many places in this game that revive can really sneak up on people a lot of people don't have him maxed i personally don't but it's one of those, it's like a luxury character. If you have him, you're probably going to enjoy using him. You got Gamorrean Guard. I mean, Gamorrean Guard is extremely OP. They need to nerf this guy. I'm just playing. This guy, this guy's garbage. But <laughs> so is Mob Enforcer. But all in all, top to bottom, this faction is fantastic. Young Han and Lando can also have some pretty solid use in a Kira team. Especially if you throw Vander Chubak in there with L3. My goodness, there's just so many options with this faction. In my opinion, they do deserve to be here. Now, uh, if, if you remember here, I'll, I'll throw this list back up here. We did rank Rebels at number eight and Resistance at number seven with First Order beneath them. Rebels, to me, were probably going to be in the number seven spot. However, I, and, and a big reason for that, by the way, CLS, when you have him relic with Han and Chewie, can beat basic, oh, so many teams in this game, including Gas. Um, and I'm actually using my Han and Chewie, even at only gear 12, to beat Gas teams right now, uh, with paired with my Sith Empire. Um, you've got your Phoenix in here. You've got your Rogue One in here. You've got so many characters, of course, out of this Rebel faction. In fact, we used to call this game Galaxy of Rebels because there were so many Rebels. To me, 
I do think resistance takes the cake now. Um, we have a lot more characters in this uh, faction right now. And to me, Ray Jedi training, resistance hero Finn, resistance hero Poe, um, with a couple others. A lot of people are doing BB-8 and maybe C-3PO. That is a team that can beat almost any team in the game. It's a, It can delete bugs. It can handle gas teams. It can handle Sith Empire. It can handle so much if it's decked out. That to me is better than any rebel team. And so I think the time has come to bump this faction up. If it weren't for Resistance Hero, Finn and Poe, we'd probably rank them a bit lower. Probably a lot lower actually. But those two characters really amplified the use of this faction all right let's get back to this list um not much else to talk about there uh we could debate in the in the comments i did put first order be beneath both of them i just don't feel like there's an amazing first order team right now uh sith trooper uh the new sith trooper did uh make first order better but not quite on the same level that uh poe and finn did all right, let's get to the top five. This is where the rubber hits the road. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Number five is Night Sisters. I don't know if that's even a canon Night Sisters uh, logo, by the way, this one right here. <laughs> I don't know if that's a canon logo. I just found it on uh, w Wikipedia as a, as a expanded universe uh, logo. So I, I hope that's okay to use. I'll, I'm sure you lore nerds will be able to correct me if I'm wrong in using that. I don't know what else to put there. All right, Separatists in at number four. Jedi are number three, and you're ready for number one and number two? Number two is Sith, followed by Galactic Republic in at number one. Now, the big debate here is Sith and Galactic Republic and Jedi. How does Galactic Republic earn its number one spot? Well, let's just talk about the Galactic Republic, shall we? There is way too... You could call this Galaxy of Galactic Republic now instead of Galaxy of Rebels. Padme is fully encompassed by the Galactic Republic. All of her characters are in the Galactic Republic faction. Shakti, all of her characters. So Shakti is one of the best teams in this game. Gas, all of his characters, all the five of first are in here. Along with a slew of other Jedi that you can use in other places in the game. Three of the top teams in this entire game are in this faction. If you look at Sith, Sith are, you know, definitely very solid. And I feel, I feel good about putting Sith at number two because you got your Darth Revan Sith Empire team there. Next up is Treya. That's an amazing team too. But, I mean, if you're going to compare how good a Treya team is to the B-grade teams in the Galactic Republic, not quite as good as like a Padme team. I mean, it's probably Fiable first, then Padme, maybe Shock T. Um, Shock T and Padme are pretty close together. Trey is not as good as either of them. Um, and then Jedi is kind of similar. You've got your uh, Jedi are in at number three. For Jedi, you've got your Jedi Revan team. Um, and then you've got a lot of solid, solid, solid Jedi. I mean, the Jedi used to not be good, by the way. And this is, this is something I, I used to be very passionate about this when I first started my channel. I was like, CG, can we please have good Jedi in this game? And you know what? CG doesn't listen to much. And I don't think they did this because of me. But we got good Jedi in the game now, so I'm happy. <laughs> and so you got really good Jedi characters, but the only real solid Jedi exclusive team we have in the game is going to be Jedi Revan with Joe Lee, Basila, uh, maybe Hermit Yoda, General Kenobi, um, however you decide to slice and dice that. There's not really a B-grade team. So to me, Galactic Republic here, they are the clear cut. I, I don't think it's even close. Clear cut number one faction in this entire game. Um, now, breaking it down uh, between Separatists and Night Sisters, Separatists do take the cake for me, mostly because there's a lot more variety here. Night Sisters are one of those teams where they could almost be considered a sub faction just because it's basically just one team, but they don't really bleed up into anything else. I mean, the only character that does is Asajj, who is considered a Separatist, uh, but that's about it. I mean, let's, let's go look at our Separatist faction. For example, uh, where are you, Separatists? All right, so you do have Asajj Ventress there. Uh, you got Dooku. In, I mean, there's there's really solid teams in here. Your Newt teams can be very solid. Your Grievous teams can be very solid. I mean, th this to me, you got Wat Tambor in here. Best standalone character in this game. Not even close. What I love about Wat Tambor is he actually brought theory crafting back to this game. There are so many teams you can theory craft with Wat Tambor, which is absolutely fantastic. And I compare that with Nice Sisters, I mean... You guys know how good Nices are. This is solidly one of the best teams in the game. Uh, you can see I've definitely poured some Relic Focus here. 
But that is just the one team. The, the faction lacks the kind of depth that the Separatists have, and so that's why we ranked it that way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is the full list, numbers 1 through 16, Galactic Republic all the way through Tuscans. What do you think about my list? Did I get it right? Did I butcher anything? Let me know down in the comments below, and be nice because Baby Yoda is watching, ladies and gentlemen. He is watching you. He will find you, and he will... I don't know what else he's going to do. I, he's, he could force choke you. He's been known to do that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for joining me for this video. I do hope you enjoy it. Please leave a like if you did. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. Sorry about the mess.